We've been defunding a lot of things for many years. We've been defunding education. We've been defunding the school system at the same time, pumping more and more money into police. So it's like we've which, which been no defunding sense. a lot of things for many years. And but the things that we're defunding are directly correlated to increase in crime. So it's like totally. you, it's like if you if you are high, like you have a higher level of education and you are in school and involved in after school programs, the likelihood of you being a criminal is less. You know, yeah, exactly. it's like it's like so it does it it's like how about we fix the root pro like I feel like, I feel like, is, is I feel like cops is just like like neosporin and a band-aid it's well, dude, like that's america for you bro like the whole idea of western medicine is not is not treating the um the, the root the cause, root cause is treating the, the symptoms. symptoms yeah it's like and that's exactly what we do across the board bro like we do that with so many things and it's really disgusting because we don't focus on what the actual problems are we're just trying to cover it all up with a band-aid which is disgusting but um Dude, that's why honestly I've been looking a lot at um there's a, there's another uh third party uh political candidate right now, Joe Jorgensen. The libertarian. Yeah, she's running as a libertarian and um a lot of the stuff that she's running on right now is involving a lot of these things that the protests are calling for. And um I think that it that I mean here, here's my take. I voted a uh, third party last election too, and a lot of people are going to say, "Well, a vote for, back in the back at that time when it was Hillary versus Trump, and it was um, Gary Johnson was the third party." A lot of people were saying a vote for third party is a vote for Trump, and then a lot of people on the other side, uh, there's a lot of Trump people here in Georgia. They go, a, "A vote for a vote for third party is a vote for Hillary," and so it's just kind of funny. And it's like, hey, no, a third party vote is a vote for third party. It's not a vote for anyone. I, I want to do my civic duty, but I'm not about to press a button that says, put this person in office if I don't like that person. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing about third party is, you, oh, in by the, the way, United you States- You can even type in your own third parties, like you Sponge, can say anything. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, you can say anything. And sometimes that's actually gotten a pretty big- I think this year, if we made some, like, with the help of, like, the TikTok army and fucking K-pop stands, I bet- that we could get um, The Rock, like, a high nomination. Like, people would just be, like, right at the poll station, right in The Rock. And probably it would get, like, some decent traction, you know, Dwayne, like, Dwayne or whoever. Johnson, yeah. Um, but, they but did the it funny, in 2016, SpongeBob won, like, 3% of the vote. Yeah, and, like, Furman Supreme has won, like, a decent uh, chunk sometimes. But anyways, That's the, the guy with that the boot on his head? Yeah, he's hilarious. Uh -huh. um, Furman Supreme is the man. But, uh, but Joe Jorgensen, like, one of her, like, a lot of her big platform goals is, like, like no jail time for victimless crimes. Like if you're caught with like possession of drugs, like, yeah, that's probably not the best thing. And like, where'd you get them? Blah, blah, blah. But like, you shouldn't get locked in a fucking cage for being someone who's struggling with drug addiction. Like, you know, or even or, just has some yeah, drugs. Like, yeah, exactly. Or even just has some drugs. Like, for example, I think that's a reason why a lot of people are scared of cops because they're going to call the cops for one reason, but then over the course of what happens, they're going to they end find up a bunch of other, other reasons, things. Yeah. That's another thing is like, tra oh, so you traffic got a, you stops. got a suspended license and oh, you got a, a turn signal Looks out. Looks like you're going to jail. Oh, and oh, your tag is, isn't up to date. Oh, yeah. so your jo insurance so coverage is her, her platform is pardoning all nonviolent offenders of victimless crimes, which is amazing. That that's, needs to for sure happen. I mean, and that's a huge reach though. Like that's the, a huge reach, but that's like what the, her platform, like, dude, but also Trump said he was going to build a wall and he fucking didn't. So you can I run know. on anything. But I'm, saying I'm the, just saying that's what her core values the, are. The prison industrial system will be so pissed. They will lobby so yeah, hard to but, make sure that but, that never happens. But guess what? We're the fucking taxpayers, and that's why we're marching in the fucking streets. That's why the protests happen. I'm happening. not disagreeing. I'm just saying it's a it's a big ask. I know. We have a lot of people behind no it. No shit. Yeah. And I agree. Um, I hope it does repealing happen. Repealing cool. all laws for victimless crimes and qualified immunity for laws, law enforcement and the failed war on drugs and militarization of police and civil asset forfeiture and end mandatory system sentencing, which is basically like the three strikes you're out rule and basically, oh, you know, you did this crime and we know you probably shouldn't get this amount of jail time, but because the law says it, this is the minimum sentencing I mean, that's for how, this That's thing. how I spent jail time. I spent, Literally. I spent 10 days in jail for a parking violation because in the county that I'm in, if you miss court twice... And I didn't even know I'd miss court the first time. Um, so I showed up to court and apparently that it was confusing, but I literally the, co the, the judge was like, um, I mean, I see you're disabled. I see you qualify. Like you've got your stickers with you. Like everything's up to date, but, but because you didn't pay these but, tickets, but, but mandatory, no, it, it had nothing to do with paying the tickets. It's if you, if two failure to appears is automatic 10 days, uh, automatic 10 days for, for, 
for a failure to appear. And even though the the reason why you should have had to appear would have been appealed. Exactly, but it's just because failure to appear. So I spent ten, so I spent I spent ten days in county jail, which yeah. is like ridiculous for a part like a disabled guy who spends ten days in in county jail for a for what. You know, that's for not literally helping for, anyone. for parking in a handicapped parking spot. Like, here's what that what? accomplishes. You have less faith in the justice system. You have less faith in police. You also uh, the, uh, made taxpayers spend money on, you know, all the employees running all this, the situation uh-huh. on all the food that you got in there, all that bullshit. You're literally taking up space. Like, it's just ridiculous. And the thing is, the, with third party, is uh, the reason why it I even so, want to bring it was, attention it to it. It was so unnecessary. Glad they got you off the streets, though. Yeah, I'm glad they fucking got you off the streets. For, ten, were, for 10 whole days. Yeah, that's and amazing. honestly, the people that I met inside of jail were, were way worse of an influence. Like, oh, yeah. There was some guy that was like, dude, it was like, it was crazy. I'm like, is this business as usual in here? Like, what's what's going on here? Like, this is insane. Like, yeah, I mean, it's a fucking jail. I mean, uh, the, the thing is, is, do jails need to exist for 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 violent people who have proven time and time again to not be deemed worthy of living in our society? Of course. Like, if you're a fucking murderer or if you're a rapist, yeah, you can go fucking rot in a jail cell and I do not feel bad about that. But if you're just a fucking guy that got caught with weed in his pocket, fuck you. If you're a guy that, uh, you know, again, victimless crimes, that's the funniest thing. It's like, the reason why you should be locked away is because you are a danger to society and you should be treated like a fucking danger to society. Someone who has not committed any crimes towards anyone else should not be locked in a fucking cell. I don't care who you are. I think there's some nonviolent crimes that may be involved. Victimless. Victimless crimes. Nonviolent and victimless. I think I think victim, If there is a th- victimless crime, I think victims yes, but there are nonviolent crimes that have big implications on their victims. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think No, no, no. I, I get, sorry if I mixed the words. I meant to say victimless crimes, there should be no jail time for a victimless crime. Yeah. Like, having weed in your pocket, who is the victim besides you? Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. If you want to watch more clips, we got two more right over here.